Personal finance, Excel practice problem. Recovery period for maintenance to reduce insurance premium. Get ready to get financially fit by practicing personal finance. Here we are in our Excel worksheet. If you don't have access to the Excel worksheet, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank sheet. If you do have access, there's three tabs down below, an example tab, a practice tab, and a blank tab. The example tab, in essence, being an answer key. Let's take a look at it now. We have the information on the left-hand side, building our tables on the right-hand side, scenario being that if we install a couple safety items, we might be able to get a discount on the homeowner's insurance and we'll think about the payback period or recovery period for that payment the second tab will have some pre-formatted cells on the right so you could work through the practice problem with less formatting of the worksheet the third tab then basically has a blank sheet with the information on the left so we can build it and practice on our excel formatting if you don't have any of this stuff you can open up a new worksheet or whatever excel uh, sheet or electronic spreadsheet you have i would i would format the whole sheet first selecting the whole sheet right clicking on it formatting the sheet i would go to currency brackets and then i'm going to remove the dollar sign no decimals that's my starting point typically closing this back out then add the information on the left which is good practice because we want to be drawing from a source data just in excel in general and then format such as the percentages where needed make a skinny c column and then we're good to go so we've got the premium on the homeowner's insurance policy we're going to say is $500, but there's a discount to install deadbolt uh, locks. So if we do that, we get a 4% discount, but it costs us $175 to do it. So I'm not putting any locks on my door unless I get unless you pay me a discount for it or something like that. So obviously there's kind of a safety thing here, so you would think that you might want to install the deadbolts anyways if they're recommending it, it might be it might be the fact that you're in an area where the deadbolts are kind of necessary but we'll calculate it from a financial perspective and then the other one they're going to say there's a discount if you install the smoke detectors and again i'm i'm not putting smoke detectors in my house unless you give me a discount on my home insurance you know we probably want to put the smoke detectors in there because they they, they they might be good but we're gonna see we're gonna see how much it costs and what the recovery period would be to put the smoke detectors in there so let's do our calculations up top we're gonna say saving we can i'm gonna kind of combine them together first and then we'll break them out one by one and then we'll do the recovery period for them so let's say we had savings and this is going to be the header savings on insurance premium so is it worth it for me to put this safety stuff in I better get some cash back on it so i'm going to make this a little long, larger let's i'm going to it's going to take a couple cells so i'm going to put my cursor on d to f d to f let's make that our header format home tab font group and we're going to go to the bucket up top and we're going to say this is going to be black and white for our header and then i'm going to say the original cost so the original premium let's say premium it might be a better way to say it if, if i spell premium right which I'm just going to assume it is, right? So I'm going to say the original premium was $500. But then we're going to get these two discounts. Let's combine them together at first. Discounts are going to be for the deadbolt discount. We call it the deadbolt discount. The triple D, dead or double D, deadbolt discount. There's two Ds. And then we got the smoke detectors. And we're only going to do it if it becomes financially prudent for us to do so because we don't care because so this is going to be home tab number group and we're going to say percent and then we're going to put an underline down here home tab font group and underline and so then this is going to be the total discounts total discounts we'll sum that up summing up i'm going to put it into the outer column here equals the sum of the two discounts summing those up with our trusty sum function and making that a percent so i'm going to go to the home tab number group and percentifies that so it's been percentifized and let's add some decimals it could well we don't really need any does seven percent it is what it is let's go ahead and indent because we got our subcategories here this is our standard kind of formatting practice selecting these three home tab alignment and indent those and let's indent this double time 
home tab alignment indent it again and then that's going to be our savings so our savings our savings on the discount is going to be equal to the 500 times the 7% so there we have that and then we might calculate our new what's going to be our premium at this point so the insurance premium after discounts we might want that too even though that's not the header i put up top but we might want that so that means if it was 500 before and we get discounts of 35 dollars we're down to the 465 is that worth putting a deadbolt on my door yeah i don't know deadbolt let's go ahead let's do let's break it down another way let's take a look at another i'm going to break i'm going to make this blue and bold we're going to go to the home tab font group and make this blue and bold and let's try to break it out each discount by discount and then calculate the recovery period so that'll that'll hopefully change our mind so we can understand this better to see if it's worth our while we're going to go to the home tab we're going to put a paint brushy here and make a skinny j let's make our skinny g skinny g and then let's do a discount for the deadbolts on this side let's hide some cells so i can see my information on the left more clearly i'm going to put my cursor on column c where i got the arrow left click drag on over to column f let go right click the selected area let's hide that stuff so we can just see side by side what we're working on that didn't hide it that was unhide hide there we go don't delete it just hide it so now we're in column H. I'm going to make H a little bit longer here. Let's make it a little bit longer and put a header. This is going to be the discount on dead bolt locks. Discount on the dead bolt locks. We're going to say this is going to be home tab. Let's make that our header font group. Make that our header formatting black and white on the background. And there. so this is the original. Let's take the original premium was 500 but if we spend that full seven 175 dollars to get the deadbolts we get the double d discount deadbolt discount that is so we're going to pull that from our data set it's four percent you'll recall i'm going to make that a percentize so home tab number group percentizing that so and then we're going to go to the font group and underline it that means we get the discount the discount on deadbolt locks is for equal to the 500 premium we had before times the four percent so for just the deadbolts there's that twenty dollars we would be saving so let's put some blue borders on that let's do the same thing for the other one let's make that font group and make it blue and bordered wait a second not blue and white silly blue and border that's ridiculous you can't see the white on the blue ah, okay so let's let's just copy this whole thing down here let's copy that and put that down here and this is going to be the original premium again it's going to be i'll just say that's from the 500 again and then now the discount is at the three and this is not the discount on the double d discount for the dead volts this is the discount on the smoke detectors smoke detectors so it's 15 for that one and that comes up to if i take my total discounts total discounts is going to be equal to the 20 and the 15 which comes up to our uh, 35 which we saw before so now let's calculate the payback period for those two let's make this blue and bordered first don't get ahead of yourself don't get ahead of yourself but I'm so slow. I hate waiting for myself. You got to wait for yourself. Otherwise, you get too far ahead of yourself. So I'm going to put my cursor on the skinny G here. And we're going to going to go to the home tab clipboard. And we're going to format paint it. And we're going to put it on the J making J the skinny J skinny J. I knew a skinny J before. He's still kind of skinny, but he, he's got he's not as skinny. So we're going to then say this is going to be the recovery period on the deadbolt. So let's, say, let's call this the recovery period on deadbolt locks. And I'm going to make this a little bit longer. Let's make this a bit wider. Let's make it all the way out here because I think I'm going to need that name at the bottom. 
So this is going to be the cost to do it, the cost to do. We're going to say that equals, it costs us $175, we're saying, to put the deadbolts on our, because we got a bunch of doors, because we got, we got a big house. Got to deadbolt all those doors, or else the sneaky people try to come in and take your stuff. So discount on deadbolt locks. So we're going to have the discount uh, in dollars. Well, let's just do it this way. I shouldn't even have typed it out. I should have just said this equals that, which we just figured equals the 20 right there. And so that means that, and we're not really taking into account, account time value of money, but you know, in general, just a quick calculation, if I'm saving, if I'm saving $20 on the premium each year, we're going to say, and it cost me $175 to pay for the deadbolt locks, then the recovery period on deadbolt locks is going to be equal to the $175 we had to pay divided by the $20 we're saving every time uh, we have the premium payment. We're going to say yearly. So that means we're going to recover it in nine years. Home, let's go to the number group and make another 8.8 .8 years. That's way too long. I don't need locks on my doors because it's not, it's not financially. Actually, it's probably a good insurance thing in and of itself. So, so, uh, so if that's probably longer, we're probably going to have the house for that long, you would think. And, you know, it'd probably be a safety thing more than it, more than a financial thing as well. So probably still want those deadbolts on there, we're thinking. But in any case, home tab, font group, and let's make this, let's make this uh, black and white. So it's going to, we're going to get it paid back within the eight or eight to nine years. Let's make this border blue. So I think it's worth it. I guess, I guess so. If we have to, if you want to do it. So this is going to be, let's do the same things for the recovery, recovery period on the smoke detectors. So the cost to recover the smoke detectors, it's going to cost us $48 to put those noisy beepy things in the house. They should pay us to put those squawky things in there. It's ridiculous. How much do I get on a discount if I have to do that? Discount on the smoke detectors. I already calculated. Let's just say equals this one over here. This is going to be equals. We said $15 a year that we're going to save on the premiums. So that means that the recovery period on, on the smoke detectors, smoke detector, detector, Detectors. I didn't spell that right up top, did I? Is going to be equal to if it costs us forty-eight dollars, and we say fifteen dollars divided by fifteen a year, because the homeowners, and it takes like three years, ah, just to put in those squeaky things, and they probably want me to check the batteries on it or something too to make sure it squeaks whenever I cook a good meal, whatever. I guess maybe three years. So three years to recover that home tab font group. Let's put some black and white on it. Let's put some blue and border blue, border blue as well. Let's put some underlines here. That would look nice font group and underline. That looks so much better. I can't even believe it. I can't even believe I had it without an underline for that long because it's just <laughs> the, I mean, the amount of improvement Recover, let's do the recovery period, period if we combine them, which isn't the fairest way to calculate it, but let's say if we like combine them together, we'll get like combined co recovery period just for the giggles of it. And so we're gonna go up top, we're gonna say this is for the font group and say this is gonna be black and white. And so this is gonna be the cost to do both of these things. Let's say just cost to do both. Let's just do them both. I mean, if we're gonna do it, I'll have to do all this, all this stupid stuff that the insurance company wants if they want me to get a discount, whatever. So the discount, this discount on both then is going to be equal to the 20. I saved $20 and the 15 to do this stupid stuff that they want. But what you got to jump through some hoops sometimes. Sometimes you got to jump through some hoops. Recovery period 
combined recovery period. So if I get, if I, if it cost me 223 for both of them and it cost me a total of $35, then to recover the full cost combined together would be this divided by this. And that would be about six years. And I'm gonna be living in the home for a long time, I think. So I still feel like it's kind of worth it if I have to jump, if I have to jump through these hoops to do this mundane and worthless exercises of putting locks on the door and having a squeaky smoke detector, then so be it. It's bureaucratic institutions always wanting some crazy thing. But obviously you can see why <laughs> the insurance company might think that those would be beneficial because it might reduce the, the likelihood of of losses, which of course you would think would be beneficial for the insurance actuarial calculations and so on and so forth. And clearly, although this is a very good recovery period calculation to do, and it could be applicable in a lot of different areas, doesn't take into consideration the time value of money, but it's a nice quick kind of calculation to get an idea of the benefit that you're, that you're receiving. So you want that concept, but clearly here, it looks more like it's kind of a safety issue as well. So if they're recommending that you do that, then there's probably a reason for it. So we probably want to put them in uh, anyways, even if, it, uh, even if it wasn't the most financially sound thing uh, to do in terms of the discount in the insurance premium policy. Also note that I realized that I, I just misspelled a whole bunch of things. So I think I I uh, corrected those with the spell check. So if, the, if that was driving anybody crazy, then, you know, I fixed it now. But that's what spell check is for. So I, I checked it. So it's probably still some wrong stuff, but it's better than it was, I think.